everyone. My name is Oleg Shevtsov. Today with me, Sergey Kirik. And uh, today we'll be talking about uh, workflows automation. An example of uh, workflow automation we faced and solved recently. Uh, one of our customers, uh, MVNO and mobile service provider, uh, came with an interesting pain. So they they were difficulties they, they were having difficulties with uh, onboarding flows and to be more specific with the flow uh, when a salesperson needs to add uh, some sim cards to the existing customers so for instance there is an existing customer uh, they buy some extra sim cards for their employees and they need to add uh, this new sim cards to the employees like create accounts in portability and one of the interesting requirements is that uh, they have a regulatory requirement to keep the address information uh, in the database so they needed to uh, when when they create accounts in portability they need to have uh, exact address information about uh, about the end user so this is a regulatory requirement and uh, they salespeople were struggling with uh, copy pasting this uh, address details from some uh, previously recorded uh, data so they came to us and uh, in several hours we we've made a solution sergey can you show us yeah sure hello everyone thanks alec for the introduction so let me summarize so the challenge was that a business customer who has, for example, 100 uh, contacts to provision uh, SIMs under, underneath, and each SIM card may have one, two, three address because people uh, may want to ship, uh, to have that SIM card shipped to, to, to different addresses, including the full shipping address, right? So I used a Boomi as I say, always uh, do for for such projects. Um, I'm I'm using Boomi Flow here. It, it's 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 a tool that allows a user to communicate, uh, to interact with the user interface. Let me share my screen so you can get. All right. So it welcomes, um, after passing authorization, it welcomes user uh, and prompts to select ICCAD and, and a product, right? So for example, here we will be using a test stuff here, right? Then for example, we choose one of the allowed products here in this tool. If product has add-ons, we can show them. And for example, I want to this specific scene to be provisioned with uh, with the main product, Super Provider Mobile, and an add-on to to allow worldwide access. And I continue the wizard. So I choose, I pick up the package, right? SIM card, product, how I charge it. And I need uh, to find a target where to ship this package. So I'm gonna browse a customer. It's interactive and connected to our demo system, demoportal.com. Uh, we prepared the demo customer for this case, right? So this customer in portal billing, uh, they have two individuals, two contacts who, uh, who actually use the service um, uh, under this customer, right? So one of them should get the, uh, the SIM card. So we send this SIM card for to Alice, for example, we select Alice. Um, Alice has only default uh, address here, just for demo purposes, I will show you that. John Doe may have multiple addresses here. So for example, he has a default shipping address and a home, right? 
So if I send it to this default address, uh, the backend system is actually doing provisioning and reports a status, all good, all success. I quickly check demo system if this account was really provisioned, right? So I'm gonna pick up this ID and in a toolbox, I'm gonna find this account. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Let's quickly check his address and, no, and a product. Yeah, so we got a product. Remember, I chose this super uh, provider and this world add-on. And we also check the address. It's also populated from the previously saved address from uh, the default shipping address for that uh, specific uh, contact, a specific individual of the customer, right? So that's the tool. Um, just a couple of things uh, about implementation. So this is the flow we use to implement this uh, requirement. We first uh, go to a page uh, which captures ICCD and products. Right? So how I can do this, I can just edit page layout using drag and drop. So it's uh, this flow particularly, it, it's completely no code. There is no uh, any code here. Right? So there is, this is what we captured. We captured ICCD as an input then uh, Drop down, select of main product and add-ons. Right, uh, Sergey. Let's uh, let's focus more on the on the high level. So in, on the high level, it's just uh, capturing product, selecting customer, individuals, uh, yep. address, uh, and, and finally address for the individual, and finally provisioning. Yes, so, and finally provisioning. Exactly. So, for instance, let's uh, imagine a situation when. Uh, when, for instance, some other customer comes to us and says, uh, "Hey guys, I want I want to use it, uh, but I have a different uh, situation. Like we have uh, a different order capture system, or for instance, we need integration with a CRM uh, where we keep uh, our order information. Uh, how how it will change?" Yeah, uh, thanks for this question. Uh, indeed. Uh we can use uh, the same functionality, the same workflows to connect uh, it with, with not only portable billing. So currently we connected with portable billing here in this uh, shape, we provision uh, the data. Also, we read some information from other, uh, from uh, portable billing as well. Uh, but indeed we can, similarly, we can connect to order management system or, or CRM like you suggest. Uh, moreover, uh, in the past, we had a successful project where we uh, connected HubSpot Dells with uh, this flow. So we actually launched this flow to uh, to close the deal in the, in the HubSpot. So it's possible. So once the HubSpot deal is uh, is closed, uh, then this provisioning flow starts. Like we get uh, we get the yeah. information from from the HubSpot deal. From the HubSpot yeah. deal details. Yeah, we Perfect. can even we can we can even pre-populate uh, this flow with a certain data from HubSpot CRM, like for example, with uh, ICCD chosen or products uh, chosen and attached to that deal in HubSpot. So we a user can save even more clicks in this case. Perfect. It sounds it sounds very very nice and uh, it looks very beautiful. So basically, to sum to sum up, uh, at Porta One, uh, we have chosen uh, workflow automation tool, and uh, we supply our customers with uh, with both workflow automation tool and uh, professional services. So, for instance, if you have uh, difficulties with using the the workflow automation, or if you want us to actually implement your flows and support them, uh, we can do it. 
And uh, as we've shown in, in this example, uh, it takes us something like four hours to implement this flow. So four hours of professional resource to implement your flow and uh, save a lot of hours on different uh, operation activities from your staff. I hope you like it. And uh, if you like, get in touch. We can automate your flows. Thanks, Sergey, And thank you for watching. Thanks, Alec. Bye, everyone. Bye.